Hey, babe. How's your morning going? Miss you. Dealing with grumpy old folks. Same old, same old. Exhausted. <laughs> Dealing with customers can be a real hassle. You're always putting in the grind, babe. Come on. Tomorrow's the weekend. Time to kick back and relax. Yeah. So, any luck with that salary increase request? Did your boss give the green light? Nope. That grumpy, hairless old man shut it down. No way! You hustle so hard! Tell me about it! But he was like, nope, not happening. Ugh, I can't stand that guy. Well, I guess you gotta push even harder. Hopefully one day your boss will give you the recognition you deserve and bump up that paycheck. Ugh, no wonder he's bald. <laughs> you got a point there. So, Megan, how's your dad doing? He's hanging in there. Why do you ask? Really? That's good to hear. What do you mean? Well, last time you mentioned him, he was in the hospital and things weren't looking too good. After that, you didn't really talk about it. I also didn't want to bring it up and bum you out, so... Oh, yeah. He's actually doing a lot better now. Um, from terminal cancer? Is that even possible? Um, yeah, you know, it's one of those things. But he's a fighter, you know? And thanks to you, too. Me? Yeah, your support and encouragement really helped him bounce back. I'm so grateful for that. And for being there for me during that tough time. Thanks, babe. Oh, really? I don't even remember doing that. Of course you did, silly. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. That's why I love you, babe. Thank you again. You're making me blush. I just wanted to do what I could to help. It's no big deal. But you did so much. That means the world to me. Well, if you say so then, I guess I did. And you're so humble too. Ain't that a good thing? Definitely. How do you manage to be so perfect, babe? Stop it, you're making me blush. <laughs> you're too cute. Quit teasing me, babe. So, Megan. Yeah? I love you. I love you too, babe. We've been together for two months now, you know? If we count the time we spent getting to know each other, it's been three months. Really? Time flies, I guess. Yeah, and we still haven't met... in person. Yeah, about that. Babe, I really want to meet you. I want to hold your hand and take you out on a date. We can have dinner, go for a walk, or even watch that, um, romantic movie, um, Roxanne, you're into. It's actually Rosalina, and it's a horror flick. Fine, we'll meet, but let's meet at 10. Why so late? Don't we want to grab dinner or something? I've got a lot going on, so let's meet at 10, at the bar. At a bar? For our first meetup. Why? It's our first time meeting. I want it to be special. Plus, it's my uncle's bar, so I feel safe there. Hmm, that makes sense. Well, then I'll come pick you up, okay? No need. I'll come over when I'm done. It's just a three-minute walk from the bar. Trust me, okay? Um, okay, if you say so, babe. Great. Catch you later. Gotta get back to work. Sure thing. Love you, babe. Can't wait to see you. Love you too. Vincent! Yo, guess what? What's up, man? What's good? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. Dude, stop teasing. Spill it. Megan agreed to meet with me. Megan who? Come on, man. My girl, Megan. Remember? Oh, yeah. I remember now. That's it? Where's the hype for your boy? My bad, man. Let me try it again. Yo, that's awesome. Congrats. Hope you guys hit it off and ride off into the sunset together. There, happy now? Ugh, whatever. Anyway, she's agreed to meet me for the first time, you know? I've been dreaming about this moment for ages. Seriously? 
You're 25, but why still so wide-eyed? You haven't been in love, you won't get it. I'm head over heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the first time you matched her? You were like, she's the one, I don't get it. How can you love someone you've never met? I know, I know. But Megan's different. She gets me. She ain't all about the material stuff. Her life's been rough. Her family was dirt poor, man. They almost had to sell her when she was born because they couldn't afford to keep her. Really? Wait a sec. Where'd she come from again? Asia, pay attention, bro. When she was 10, she was already working at a restaurant to help out. They let a 10-year-old work? That's sketchy, man. Who knows? Maybe they felt bad for her family and gave her odd jobs. She only finished elementary school, you know? And at 15, she was pulling double shifts to help cover her dad's medical bills. She sounds like she's been through a lot. How old is she now? 27. Oh, and her old man got hit with terminal cancer when she turned 18. He's been battling it out for years. Damn, that's rough. Must have been tough on her. Yeah, he's still kicking, surprisingly. Even doing better now. From terminal cancer? Well, good for them, I guess. Yeah, the surgery went well, I think. She said her dad's on the mend. I'm happy for her. That's weird. Anyway, her family's still struggling, and she's juggling three jobs. But despite all that, she's always smiling. She inspires me to hustle harder, man. I want to help her family out however I can. But didn't you help her out financially before? Just a bit, nothing major. It's the least I could do. Did you know she's got a huge debt hanging over her head? Offered to pay it off for her, but she refused to rely on me. She wanted to handle it herself. She's mad mature and independent. Totally my type. You know I'm into strong, resilient women like her. But you've never even met her in person. You're only hearing her side of the story. Are you sure about all this? Maybe she had no choice but to ask me. She promised to pay me back pronto. But hey, I'm her man. I wish she'd lean on me a bit more. You've only been together for a month, acting like you're married already. Actually, it's been two months and nine days. Well, I don't care. I'm just saying, don't rush things. She might just be playing up the sympathy card. Don't diss her like that. Megan's kind and generous. Why you gotta be so negative? I'm just looking out for you, bro. Keep your wits about you. I always do. You know that. Yeah, you're a workhorse. You're always on the ball at work. But love's a whole different ball game. You've never been in love, so how would you know? Hey, I've had my moments, alright? Just never made it official. It's the same. You should give it a shot. Huh? Dating apps, man. Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, you name it. Nah, love can wait. Whatever, Mr. Workaholic. Hey, I'm not all about work. I still make time to text you. Cause it's your lunch break. Bet you're also in the John. Partially true, but how do you know I was on the toilet? You spying on me or something? That's creepy, man. Knock it off before I call the cops. I'm not some type of stalker. You're just the type to hit deadlines even on bathroom breaks. Been like that since high school. Speaking of deadlines, got one this weekend. Gotta finish up and tackle next week's. Damn, Vince. If your career could be turned into a movie, it would be a horror film called The Never Ending Deadline. <laughs> Try my best, alright? Take a breather, man. Don't want to see you kick the bucket before we meet again. You cursing me to kick it early? I'll outlive you any day. We'll see who's still standing. Oh, and give those dating apps a whirl. Maybe you'll find your love there. No time for that, man. Come on, live a little. It's our prime time. Dive headfirst into love. Ugh, fine. I'll give it a shot. That's the spirit. But only after I finish all the work. That might take forever. We'll see about that. All right. Catch you later, bro. Later, man. Hey, babe. I'm here. Where are you at? I'm rocking a blue shirt and white jeans. Posted up at the bar, waiting for you. Sorry, babe. Running a bit behind. Had some family stuff come up. Just wrapping it up now. No worries. Take your time. I'm so sorry, babe. I really want to see you. I feel awful about being late. How about this? 
Pick any drink you fancy. My treat. It's okay, babe. I've been waiting to see you for two months. It's okay to wait a bit longer. Please let me make it up to you. Guess I can't turn down a lady's offer like that. Glad you're cool with it. Just tell the bartender you're with Megan. They all know me. Order whatever you want. Oh, and I've got a special drink just for you. Make sure to give it a try, okay? Sounds good, babe. I will try it. Can't wait to finally meet you face to face. Me too, babe. Hey, man, you up? Lean? Ugh, my head. What happened? You're the one to ask that. Did you just wake up? Yeah. What's going on? I got a text from you at 1 a.m. saying to come pick you up. When I got there, you were passed out in a room upstairs at the bar, butt naked. What? Me? Naked? Passed out? Yep. You lay so still even when your head smacked the floor. I thought you were dead. No wonder my head hurt so bad. Ouch. So, what went down? What happened? I have no clue. I remember being at the bar, downing some of Megan's special drink while waiting for her. Meeting at the bar? Whose bright idea was that? It was Megan's. Her uncle owns the place and she feels safer there. Got it. So, you remember what she looked like? Sort of. She's got dark hair about waist length and wore this tight dress. And she's tall, as well as my height. I think she's pretty hot. Think? What do you mean? Well, it was dim there, and I was a bit tipsy from her drink and a few more. I couldn't see her face clearly, but I did notice a moth tattoo on her wrist when we shook hands. The moth tattoo? What happened next? What did you do? We chatted for a bit, and then she went to the bathroom. I think I blacked out when she came back. Can't remember anything else. Oh, that's right! I remember texting you to pick me up at 1130. Why'd you only see it at 1 a.m.? I sleep early, you know. I suddenly woke up and saw your message. Man, if you hadn't woken up, I'd still be stark naked at the bar. You owe me big time. Yeah, I owe you one. But did you see Megan when you picked me up? Did she say anything? Nah, it was just you in the room. Apparently, you even puked on the bed. If I were her, I'd run for the hills too. Gross. Ugh. I can't recall a thing I did. Oh, the bartender mentioned you got drunk and did some wild stuff. What? What wild stuff? Oh man, you climbed onto the bar, serenaded Megan, and professed your love. Then you tried showing her your heart by showing your chest. The bartender tried to stop you, but got you hugging him and getting up close to his face. And then, well, you can guess. What will be will be. Oh god, no. You barfed all over him and then passed out. Oh, thank God. So, how'd I end up in the second floor? The bartender said Megan helped you upstairs. Later, he saw her run down to the door. Looks like she was crying. What did you do, man? What? I didn't do anything. I'd never do that kind of thing. You know me, right? I don't know, man. When you're plastered, all bets are off. No way. Even wasted, I wouldn't pull that kind of crap. Drunk or not, you don't remember squat. No, it can't be. Did I really? To Megan. You tell me. Oh no. Ugh, I'm such a jerk. Megan's probably disgusted of me. She hasn't reached out to me yet. Hey, did you bring anything to the bar? I had my phone and wallet. Wait. Where's my wallet? And my watch? Have you seen them? Nah, man. I looked around, but nada. Maybe I chucked them somewhere while I was drunk. Who knows? Why not ask your Cinderella? You mean Megan? Right. Let me hit her up. Hey, Megan. Babe, I'm really sorry. But can we talk about last night? Did I mess up something? I don't want to get into that right now. Please, babe, I need to know. 
Did I really do that? I mean, I don't remember anything. You pushed me into it, even though I said no. After everything. I can't believe you don't remember a thing. You jerk! Oh god, I'm so sorry, babe. I was wasted and lost control. That's not like me at all. Please, let me make it up to you. I'll do anything. I'll take full responsibility. Just give me a chance to make things right. It's too late for that now. I can't be with someone who can't control themselves. I can't be with someone I can't trust. Wait, Megan, are you breaking up with me? I'm sorry, Lean. I just can't trust you anymore. Goodbye, Lean. Don't bother trying to contact me. It'll only make me hate you more. Hey, Lean. It's me. Megan, we need to talk. Oh, um, been a while. Yeah, it has. Didn't expect to hear from you after all this time. Especially after you blocked me. I didn't plan on reaching out either, but I've got no choice. What do you mean? I'm pregnant. It's yours, Lean. What? How is that possible? Wait, are you sure it's mine? Of course it's yours. Who else's could it be? I only found out after three months. I thought you couldn't stand me. Yet you're keeping the baby. Why? I still can't stand you, but this child ain't guilty of anything. I can't bring myself to get rid of it. Cut the act. I know everything. You're the one who swiped my wallet and my watch. I checked the cameras and heard what went down that night. So you know. Why are you reaching out to me? I've got no other option. What do you mean? Truth is, when I came to see you that day, I needed money for my dad's medical bills. But after what you did to me, I was desperate and took your wallet and watch. I'm sorry. I just needed it temporarily. I'll pay you back, I swear. Uh-huh. I'm struggling right now. My parents found out about the baby and pressured me to get rid of it. But I refused and I ran off. And the money you took with the watch? It went towards my dad's treatment. Now I've got nowhere to go and no money. Lean, I need your help for the sake of our child. Please help me. If you don't, I don't know what I'll do. I'm lost. You stole from me, broke up with me, refused my help, and then blocked me. You also lied to me. What? I, I'd never. Oh, um, you mean about the bar, right? So it's true. You lied. How can I trust you? Let me explain. I was scared. Scared of what? Of you! Me. Anyway, it was our first time meeting in a strange place. So I thought if I said it was my uncle's bar, you wouldn't dare to do anything. But look how that turned out. It was an accident. I'm sorry. You better be. And the child is yours. I've got a DNA test and a pregnancy certificate here. Hmm. I still can't trust you completely. What? I have a DNA test right here. These could be fake. I want a direct fetal DNA test. I don't want to be fooled again. You jerk! You did that to me and now you're saying I'm lying? You just want to dodge responsibility, huh? I should have known you were a coward. You've got it wrong. I want to take responsibility. But I can't fully trust you after you lied. I need to confirm if it's really my child. If it is, I'll provide money, shelter, or whatever you need, okay? And if it's not? Well, I'll still help you out. At least until you get back on your feet and find a job. Hmm. Fine. Hey Vince, how's it going? Hey Lean, all good here. Everything's been smooth. Did they nab all of them? Yep, they got them all. Your girlfriend's confession really helped. The cops swept them up. Dang, that was quick. Still can't wrap my head around Megan being part of some 
online scam crew. Yeah, what a bad luck you are. Megan's all over the dating apps. If I hadn't matched with her on other apps, you'd still be head over heels for her, idiot. Oh, come on. I had my doubts too, you know. Really? So, who was that dude sobbing and downing two cases of beer in his room when the scammer dumped him? <laughs> well, uh, that that's because you've never been in love. You don't get it. Yeah, I'll never understand why you were so hung up on that dude. <laughs> what do you mean by dude? Oh, you didn't know? Your ex-girlfriend's a guy. What the heck? <laughs> you hooked up with a guy and believed he was carrying your baby. Oh man, I'm dying of laughter. <laughs> Shut up, man. My heart's been through enough. It needs some TLC. I gotta find someone to mend it. I'm thinking of giving Bumble or Facebook dating a shot this time. Dude, are you serious? After getting burned, you still want to dive back into the online dating pool? I don't know. Maybe. You're sick, man. Chill. I'm just kidding. I'd never have the guts to touch those apps again. I reckon it's better to meet face to face first, then see if love sparks. Jeez. Amen to that. You're finally growing up. I'm proud of you. You talk like you're my old man. If I had to babysit a kid like you, I'd keel over soon. <laughs> Fair point. But seriously, you gotta find yourself a partner or you'll be a lonely old geezer till the end, dad. Shut it, man. <laughs>